Hey guys, welcome back. Um, the first video that I'm showing you how to remove the the background, like to make this guy stand like uh, anti gravity. So now I'm trying to because that the photo is actually is not completed yet. Now I'm trying to show you that how to make this photo look more dramatic. <coughs> okay, first, okay, this is the layer that we 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 actually that is a, a layer of done. Okay, duplicate one more copy of this. Uh, it's, it's my style is that I always keep one a safe copy that, that means that if it's anything that goes wrong we can always come back to the original one so we got the channel the channel is actually for you to differentiate uh, uh, the color that in contrast okay in contrast is mean that we have to select uh, the color in either red green or blue then we have to find looking at one channel that is actually that can be matched that uh, two very uh, very clear contrast of the photo then in order to get to remove all the the unwanted the, the sky that we want to remove okay now we got the red color okay red color it doesn't seem that any contrast of these two things okay we got the green okay green green is slightly better but um, um, still that what not not what we want then and we got a blue okay blue it look more promising okay it look more contrast between this brightest and the darkest area all right look at this okay so in this case that we want it blue so we copy one more layer please do not use the original copy to do it because the a color photo is combined of rgb if you use the original blue to do the adjustment that mean that you will uh, totally get out of the blue color of the image so this is the thing that we don't want to see okay now we go to the blue blue there is a different way to to extract this area that this is what we call a, a sky uh, it's a, a, a lot of different way so but today I'm, I'm choose the the way of the the easy ways the easy ways to for you to for, for us to get start of this okay this time then we choose the brightness contrast uh, beside the brightness contrast you actually can choose for the curve or you can choose the uh, levels that independent what kind of what kind of setting that you want to choose that is actually is for personal option so when I choose this I chose this contrast and brightness so uh, first thing you have to take box up the use legacy okay then you you pull the brightness okay down in order to make the the photos look more contrast then it's, it can be different shape the two area that the mean that you have to bring the, bring up the darkest and the brightness area okay then we bring up the contrast and make it more even make it more contrast then then we can get exactly the what we want to remove okay but look at this place this place is actually is is look at this it's actually is uh, 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 quite close to the highlight area so we have to bring down a little bit more okay in order to show this area okay it's not it's not gone i mean it's not loss of the detail okay so in order for us to easily select out the sky okay so we pull a little bit more okay and we and we don't want the muddy highlight and okay? we want it to be complete completely uh, uh brightness okay so see uh, it's come up come up that there's just two different contrasts all right so but this area okay this is doesn't matter this is a small case that we can solve it after okay we click okay then you go to the disk key and you hold on of the commands key and tick on this box okay okay it's ready to select then you go back to rgb come back then you can have a very clear picture that which are the places that you will be being select okay like this is quite pretty easy you got the lasso okay this one this is the the thing that what i usually do okay uh it's not a good way sorry it's not a good way but it's the easy way it's the faster way so if you wanted something to be fast yeah okay so because i don't want to spend too much time on this so i'll try to show you guys an easier shortcut just to remove the sky okay by using a channel all right this area there we, we don't want this area so 
Okay. Oh, sorry. It's supposed to be uh, plus. No, uh, it's supposed to be remove instead of. Yep. Okay. Uh, in this case, that this is will be the distraction, so we have to remove it. Okay. So, so we we'll move back a bit. Okay. Good. Let's remove. And make sure these small little tiny pixels that you have to remove as well. Okay, look at this. This is there's a two pixels over here. Okay, this one that uh, we don't want this place. Same thing, remove. Okay, and invert and reverse. Okay, look at this. Then we want it to be have a very very clear cut. So Okay, some of you might think that pen tool is, is good for you. Yeah, yeah, there is a personal option. So you can use the pen tool or whatever tool that you, you think that is, is work for you. It doesn't matter. Okay, as long as we can remove the sky and as, as long as we can remove all the dislike, all these places, it's up to you. But to me, I, I always choose the easy way. Okay, look at this. Just remove remove okay and we don't want to remove the C okay so we want to see okay in this area as well okay same thing invert and reverse okay oh sorry overshot And this area as well, remove the selection. Okay, and this one, we don't want it. Okay, look at this. Yes, we don't want this. Then we shift, we, we remove it away. Okay, remember when the selection is like this, is actually okay. Then we have to remove the whole place over selected, then because that we need to remove the area. So we don't want it to be inside. So Make sure your guy check all the pixels has been removed. Like this area, this area is because it's belong to highlight, so it's been select as well. Okay, let's have a look, see whether we miss up any detail of this. Okay, yes, it's over here. Now this is actually that just now we already foresee that this area because it's very close to the highlight. So you can select properly. So we have to do it manually. It's not that difficult but it takes a little bit of time for you to make a, a very clear remove for all the unwanted pixels okay um yeah pretty much is here okay yep we got it and in this case uh we go for feather okay we want to feather a bit we don't want to be a sub cut of the pixel so we have to go to select modify Feather. Normally on this case, I will check it out for the pixels like, uh, look at this, because it's uh, shooting with the, uh, the depth of field is not very uh, shallow, so it's actually it's just quite sharp of the image, so we can't choose uh, too sharp, then we have to feather it until it uh, look more unnatural on the, the edge. So in this case, I will choose one pixels of the image feather so yeah just select and we go to the option hold on hold on on the option key and press the mush okay and as you can see the background is removed all right and now we have to choose the sky that we want okay in this case that you have to look at the photo okay the perspective is of the photo is so uh, then it will be determined that how your photo look like okay uh, I've been uh, collecting all this uh, uh, cloud then uh, in case that I need it in some time then I would need it so now yeah okay I choose this because it's uh, the perspective uh, no because there is a uh, the mountain on it so no so i send no with the picture okay so uh, in this case that with this kind of perspective then um, maybe i go with this 
Uh, yeah, it's pretty much good. Okay, now adjust your photo according to the the look that you want, the colors, the like uh, how the color you want it to look like. So this time I wanted the color be look a little bit, bit uh, a little bit of sunset feel like. Uh, so I have to bring up a little bit of yellow. Yeah, I make it a little more more sunset and uh, bring it up for a little bit of the uh, white. And because of the details way really are missing, so I have pull back a little bit of highlight. Okay, so I pull back a little bit of the white color so yeah so it pretty much set okay in this case uh, because that the background is actually is quite bright so i don't want it to be uh, the contrasty of the the cloud and the atmosphere and it will look very weird so I'll pull the photo in okay so drag it over then adjust the place that you want the photo to be Okay, this is the thing that we, we just mentioned just now. So we don't want it to contrast of the the cloud, the sky the image. So we we'll do a slightly a slight adjustment. Okay. And in this case, practice area is in on the, the upper side of the photo, so I will be Okay, rotate it about hundred. Make it more, yeah. Make it, make it more uh, convincing. Okay, yeah. Something like this. Okay, pretty much the the feel that I want to be create. Pretty much like this. So I have to uh, make an adjustment that make it more convincing that this photo is not been changed of the sky. Okay, so I have to just drag a little bit down. Okay, good. Now, yeah, then the photo will look uh, something not like a uh, loss of detail. Okay, look at this with and without, with and without. Okay, in this case, the, the brightness over here is, is still not compatible because it's quite different, quite contrast. So, don't worry, we can do it after. So, we only have to shift back the brightness and the contrast to the inner photo so it will look better okay in this case there you look at this uh, highlight area so we have to get something that to match with the the brightest color okay i think in this case over here uh, yes over here and okay i have to shift over here because i want to put this part of the highlight to match with this highlight area okay yep uh, it's something like this uh, okay yep cool alright okay so pretty much just like this and okay this is pretty much the, the, the layer that is been flattened of all this uh, this is what my you I always do it. it's like uh, I'm not going to oh, flatten the image because that sometimes I might need to go back so so i'm not going to flatten the image so i will create another one factor image on top of the layer so in this case this is my main layer that means this is my best layer so uh, i'm not going to use this layer as my uh, adjustment tool so i'm going to create another layer o overall the photo is too bright then you can't even see the subject so this is not what we uh, intend to do so uh, so i'm now i'm going to do it then make it more dramatic Okay, first then you have to go to the filter and you go to the camera raw filter. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it will come back still with the, the raw file, raw converter setting that what you actually then use there to convert your raw file from camera raw to the Photoshop. But now there we still can use the even the single uh, fraction image to do it because this, this is uh, uh, what the Photoshop that is so powerful is. So first, we want to dim down the atmosphere, all right? Atmosphere, so we dim it down, okay? When we dim down the atmosphere, we look at the histogram again. We don't want something to be go beyond the zone one, okay? 
so bear in mind so go down when you go down the exposure that means you are going to lose the highlight okay uh, this time is okay it's okay to to go without the zone 10 all right this is uh, what i'm going to teach your guys that uh, uh okay the subject the subject that we want people to notice that it even darker so in this case we bring up the bright the brightness to make it look a little bit contrast and it's not that yeah look at this the different look at this the different so okay in this case because that the image has been flattened so we can't choose a, a single color that we go to the single channel to to change back the setting that we want to bring up all this but uh, this is one thing good about the photoshop so okay we don't want the shadow area to be too too uh, uh muddy uh sorry uh too dark so i in order in in order to to prevent that i put a little bit of black so i and another pack of pixels then a uh, clear in the in the darkest area look at this it's not going to completely black oh look at this okay what you have to do is because that i want this guy i want this guy to be practiced but uh, when i adjust the exposure everything will be go down together because this is the a flattened image this is overall setting so in this case i have to go to the the curve then put out a little bit of light put a little bit of light of this kind you, you can see this the move the, the moving area is will be the zone 7 to zone 8 oh look at this so zone 7 to zone 8 is mean that this area this area and whatever that consists of the highlight so it will be slightly bring up okay but this is not what we want as well because that is actually is not not really make a very big difference so in this case that we bring up a little bit of here and okay look at this we can go to the selective of color okay look at this the photoshop there is a setting called hsl and grayscale what is hsl and grayscale is a huge saturation luminance luminance mean that every color channel there is a luminance okay luminance that mean that you can adjust the particular color brightness consists of the the brightness of the color i mean if i want a red to be brighter so i just put up you see look at look, look at the red okay it doesn't change the color but it it did change the luminance that mean it did change the brightness and the shadow oh look at this so this is what we call that um this is not yellow so it's supposed to be orange okay and you look at this when i put up the orange okay so in other mean that i have put up the luminance of the orange color of the particular color channel okay it look much more better and the yellow oh skin the i mean the the the, the skin of the asian is consists of yellow orange and red so this tree you just need to bring it a little bit up okay so okay let's go back to this comparing because the the first one is so dim and okay now now you look at the the shadow and the highlight is is look a little bit too more uh, a little bit too contrast so in this case that we have to add another more pixels of the black and the shadow okay in order to to make the contrast look less okay so it's pretty much like this so we have to put down a little a little a little until until you have to judge by your eyes sometimes that you have to reduce your photo to see whether it look more natural okay so like what i say i always create another layer and the layer so create this okay and this is the final result that i'm going to show you oh, of course all these things we have to remove after retouching so i'm not going to show you this uh, this is uh, retouching is always uh, boring it's very boring so this is the the image that i i want to show you guys and rotate anti clock walls okay I'm going to do a curve okay a curve so I'm gonna pull up the highlight uh, sorry the low light the zone one 
yeah you see when i put up the zone one i completely lost of the the darkest area it, it become very gray the color so very muddy very gray so uh, this is the thing that I, I i don't want so in this case because i want to balance up the photo so i pull down a highlight as well a little a little bit of highlight okay look at this all right this is not end yet so i have to bring back the detail that just lost that because they are putting up the zone one and have to put back a little bit of the highlight okay yeah you look at this so isn't it yep it's, it's not that contrast yeah look at this okay then shoot back a little 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 okay okay look at this all right you make the photos okay uh the photo setting stay in the zone one i think remove the zone one remove the zone thing is staying in nine uh zone two to zone nine so in order to create this then it make make your photo look more smooth instead of very contrast all right and when we pull this curve then we will be a uh, create another problem of this photo why because they wherever we pull because this is overall then when we pull they will they mean they will pull all the rgb all the luminance up then then when you pull the rgb they mean you, when you dim down the color then everything the color of the i mean the, the rgb we're getting more uh, uh vibrance is because more concentrate when you pull up the bright then the color will be uh, more brighter than the color the the color of the photo the image the rgb will be will be bring up as well so yep no worry we go to saturation and just desaturate about nine pixels yeah about nine percent of the pixels and in order to bring back the color all right guys this is the photo that we want okay thank you for watching guys so yep thank you thank you so much okay this is kevin okay stay tuned on my channel and please make sure you subscribe on my channel thank you so much guys stay tuned